Hello again everybody, the card ghost here. Last week I showed you how to make a Minecraft multiplayer server. Today I am going to show you how to install Craft Bucket for your server. The point of Craft Bucket is to enable the use of server plugins. Plugins control your server and the users who join it. In addition, plugins can maximize any user's experience as well as control what happens on your server. So let's get started. 1. This process is for a Windows computer. Linux and Mac computers are different. You first need to have your server created. If you do not know how to make a Minecraft multiplayer server, then check out the link below. You will first need to know if you're running a 32-bit or a 64-bit machine. In case you do not know, click the start button on your desktop. Then, click on My Computer. Lastly, click on your hard disk drive. Next, look in a folder titled Program Files. If you see a file in there titled Java, then you are running a 64-bit machine. If that is the case, you will need option 1. However, if you do not see Java, again, if you do not see Java, then click backspace or the backspace arrow and click on the folder titled program files times 86 you should see Java in here if you didn't see it in the last folder if you do then you will need option number two now open the folder titled Java in either program files or program files times 86 whichever one you found Java in In the folder titled Java, you will see a folder either titled JRE6 or JRE7. In mine, I have JRE6. Now that you know these, write them down in case you cannot remember them. So for me, I would write down program files times 86, JRE6. Now open up your preferred internet browser. you are going to go to dl.bucket.org that is dl.bukkit.org find the fiery pell symbol click it and download it this will download craft buckets recommended build the number in the craft bucket jar should resemble what version of minecraft you're playing Save the file to your computer. Now, for ease of access, we're going to rename Craft Bucket dash 1.2.5 dash R1.0 to just plain old Craft Bucket. Because believe me, it's going to make this easier. Minimize that. Open up the Minecraft server folder drag in what you just downloaded rename it as we just said to craft bucket now exit out of that and you can close your internet browser now we are going to click on the start icon go into search and we're going to create a new notepad file so find your notepad program and this file is going to be based off of where Java is and which Java number you have that is what you will enter all the options are in the description box below by the way if the folder titled Java is in the folder titled program files then you need option one if the folder titled java says jre6 
then you'll need to copy edit paste option 1a into the notepad file. However, in the folder titled Java, if it says JRE7, then you will need to copy edit paste option 1b into the notepad file. Or, if the folder titled Java is in the folder program files times 86, then you will need option 2. Now, if the folder titled Java says JRE6, then you will need to copy edit paste option 2 a into the notepad file. In the folder titled Java, if it says JRE7, then you'll need to copy edit paste option 2 b into the notepad file. Now again, a quick summary. Program files, option 1. Program files times 86, option 2. JRE6, option A. JRE7, option B. Match them up. Now, since my Java is in program files times 86, and I have JRE6, I am going to take option 2, letter A. This is what I'm going to paste in here, and if you choose to not keep Craft Bucket uh, as uh, naming it Craft Bucket, if you want to keep the original name, you'll have to change this little part right here because this is what it's going to connect to. That's why I said change it to Craft Bucket, so then that way it's a little easier. And then now what you're going to do is instead of just saving the regular way, you're going to actually save this as run dot b a t not t x t and what you're going to do is you're going to save this make sure you go to desktop minecraft server or wherever your minecraft server is and click save in there now go ahead and exit out of that and now what you are going to do is we are going to run the file. So let's go ahead and run this. The command prompt will now show up. If it doesn't, then at this point you did something wrong. It's going to show up and configure your server to allow the use of server plugins. If you follow the steps correctly, then you should have no problem at this point with adding the plugins to your server. Now, everything should be good at this point. The next step is to set up permissions. Permissions will control who gets to use which plugins or specific parts of the plugins and will enable you to control who is who on the status ladder, so to speak, meaning just regular citizens, moderators, admins, owners, etc. Next time I will show you how to configure permissions. After that I will show you how to configure some basic plugins. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments then leave them in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I will see you all next time.